Hello, welcome back to my channel and to my YouTube channel. In the last video, you recall me making this bunch of little wooden mushrooms, air dry clay, textured like there's moss on it, and it's on a juice lid. And I made this in my last video, and I said that in the next video, there will be a part two, which is this video, that is me painting these. And at first I thought when I was making this, what should I do for the moss to make it look real? And I feel like I'm just going to end up painting that with like a base color. And then I'm going to have a separate video that's kind of like a tutorial video on how to fluff something, which is basically my way of saying, oh, I'm going to, well, it's just going to make it fluffy. And I'm going to show you that in probably my next video as a tutorial. And it's my own personal way of making it fluffy. If you haven't seen my YouTube shorts channel, um, I make, I fluffed something. It's my autumn deer sheep and I fluffed it to make it fluffy and soft. So, yeah. So I am going to paint this thing and I got an abundance of really cool paint brushes that we're going to use to paint, to paint them. We're not gonna really use all of them because that'd just be dramatic. We're not gonna use all of them, but I'm gonna put those over there. And so we're gonna paint the mushrooms first. And basically what I thought was, I'm gonna have probably this one and this one to be red, orange, and yellow. And then these, the warm colors, and then this one and this one are gonna be cool colors. And I thought, yeah, we're just gonna make those warm and cool colors. So I got this pack of acrylic paints. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna also grab like a smaller thing of paints, which is gonna have like a red and colors like that. So I'll be right back. All right, so here's the little cup I was telling you about. So yeah, so it comes with a red, like red, brown, orange, but we're going to use these colors. I'm going to go and sort them out, figure out how I'm really going to do this. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the colors, and for all the cool colors, um, the darkest one is a cobalt hue. The purple is purple iris, and then the lightest blue is Caribbean. So those are the acrylic colors I'm using for the dark blue. And now for the warm colors, I got an apple barrel that is King's Gold. Another one that is a off brand, I guess. That is just an acrylic color, but I'd have to say that this is a lemon yellow. This one is like a red. And then I would just say that this is um, candy apple red. And then this orange, which I would have to say is a scarlet. So these are what I'm using for the warm colors and the cool colors. And I think, or as I said, I'm going to do this one and this one, the warm, and this one and this one, the cold. So warm and cool colors, uh, it's color theory. <laughs> but I'm going to whip out with my warmer colors first. I've got a little paint palette that's obviously has some wear and tear to it. So I'm going to go and pour out some yellow on my yellows and then all my cool colors. So I poured all my warm colors in my palette right here and I'm going to start off with yellow because yellow is the lightest color. I'm going to do the big mushroom just to give you a good for instance. I'm going to do my light yellow. Then I'm going to figure out where I want it. So here, we'll do it right here. So make a little stripes, like a triangle, and paint that in. Like that. You can't see it because it's so light. Then you're just going to want to do this to all of your warm colors and your cool colors. But then here, I'm also gonna do it with the tiny yellow one, 
the tiny one right here. All right, so I got those pretty opaque, the yellow on the top and the bottom, the ones that I wanted. You can see that, you can barely see it, but then you're just gonna wanna do this exact same process for every single color of all your mushrooms, but I'm just gonna do the warm colors as an example. All right, it's not completely dried, but see how I got the king's gold, the yellow, the dark red, and then the scarlety color. So, yep, I got these, and I did the same thing for a smaller mushroom, and yeah, you can see that I got paint on the stem of the big mushroom, and so I would really advise you to not do the stem before you do the top of the mushroom. That would not be a wise decision. So now I'm going to show you. So if I were you on this next part, I would get a slightly bigger paintbrush, maybe this one at an angle, or this one that's a little bit bigger bristled and a little wider. So I'm going to do the reds as a good example. The reds over here, I'm going to do the reds. So you're going to take your paintbrush and your paint. You're going to dip it at an angle right here. See how I got a half of it inside the paint? And then you're going to dip the other angle, the other side, in another color of paint. See how there are the two colors of paint right there? Then the side where it's darker and the side where it's lighter, I'm going to go put those and then you're just going to brush down the middle. So then you get that gradient look. See what I'm doing? So you see that gradient? Can't see it that well because of the lighting. But you're just going to keep doing that. Rinse your brush. And then. Um, you're going to end up doing the yellow color and the red color. Fade those together. The yellow and the dark red. Fade those together. And then you're going to do scarlet yellow. Yeah, I already said that. No. And then you're going to do the yellow and that yellow. I did both the yellows. Yellow, red. Orange, red. Well, yeah, you just go what I'm going to do. Where all the colors meet, you're going to do color. Yep. All right, so I have fully blended all the sides. It's a little weird about how they're placed, but I feel like that makes it look more natural the way they look because it's like almost complete mirror opposite in that kind of way, the color way, I mean. <laughs> but now I'm going to end up doing my cool colors. And what, I can, and what kind of, I didn't think about this before until just now, that I have three cool colors, but I had four warm colors. I feel like you can't really tell the difference between the two yellows, so I guess that kind of makes it fair in a way. So, I did the exact same process, but with the blue ones, with the cool colors. And now you might be realizing you got blue and purple, but you don't have green. So green is also a cool color but I just thought don't add green because there is going to be green in the moss area so I just didn't want to add because of the moss it's going to be on the mushroom I'm going to be like running up the base of the mushrooms then I'm going to end up like painting the warm ones with I think gold and then the cool ones with I think uh, with I think silver and like gold dots and silver dots so I don't know I'll have to wait and see all right so yeah I just did the cool colors and as you can see there is absolutely zero blending right there because I haven't started yet so if you look at the tops of like the big mushrooms of like all the mushrooms the cool ones that have not been colored yet and the warm ones that have been colored you can really see a difference so um, the colors are like way more vibrant up in person, and I think that's because of the lighting, how it's, how it is. I'll try fix that. All right, I I think I fixed it. Huh? That looks good. So I'm just gonna blend it, do the same thing as I did at the top. I'm still gonna show you the results. So yeah. So same exact thing as before. I'm going to do the light blue and the dark blue. So we're gonna take my paint. Dip half of it in the light blue, half of it in the dark blue, like 
that. And then, just let's do this thing. Alright, so now I'm going to take some green paint. It's called Kelly Green. And now I'm going to go pour some on the palette. It looks dark now. I mean light now. Right there where I poured it. But I think that's going to turn out pretty bright. So I got this pretty rounded out brush. Go dip it. Paint. And go right at it. Now, I'm going to be weary and try to go around it, but I think I'm going to end up fluffing it in another video. So, I'm nope, just going to go paint the bottom. Alright, I'm back, and yeah, I got some shiny things, but I want to show you, I did the grass. Um, or the moss, whatever. It's looking good, I'm really loving it. Now, it's time to do the trunks. Of, I don't know if that's what you call them, but I'm going to do the stalks. I'm just going to say stalks. So I'm going to do the stalks of the shrooms and the polka dots because I like those kind of mushrooms, the toadstools. I'm going to do those dots on them. I shaded in the blue, my cool colors, and now I'm going to go in. The cool colors are going to be in the silver. The warm colors are going to be in the gold. And the gold is called pure gold, and the silver is called sterling silver. So, yay! I think I'm gonna do the cool colors first. Um, and then I'm gonna open up, because I think this is a fresh bottle too, so we're gonna try this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go and add on the silver. It's super watery. Okay, that's kind of depressing how watered down it looks. Hey. Yeah, you can't even tell I painted on it on screen, nor on the actual shroom. Let me try and see if the gold is any different. Alright, so, got the gold on. You can barely see it, but it looks cute on my warm mushroom, on my warm colored mushrooms. And, yeah, the silver was a complete rip-off, including guys brand new here. Should I shake it? Well, it's not working, but I'm going to try and see if I can find a different silver. Alright, I found the same colored, the same branded silver, but looks more bent down. Oh, it's pearl white. Maybe white will be good. Alright, so now that I have painted the base, which is still wet, I have air, I have dry brushed the top of the warm color of the warm colored mushrooms gold and the cool colored mushroom silver um i actually took a little bit of the light blue and the purple like a smidgen of that mixed it in with the silver and the white and that made a pretty color but i am all done and i was gonna paint that um make it look like wood but then i'm like you know what nah it's not that big of a deal but yeah, if you want to see the video where I fluff it and make it look like actual moss, then I'm going to have a tutorial video on how to do that separately. So there's not going to be like a part three or anything. No, this is like the final-ish product. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And if you guys want to watch another video like this, click the like and subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this and yeah so as you all know have a wonderful day and i hope to see you in my next video bye